One of the best stories of the college football season, the Canes, unranked in the preseason. Miami has shot all the way up to number nine in the country after wins over Florida State and Georgia Tech. Next up, a trip to Virginia Tech. Hank Goldberg on the buzz brewing in South Florida. Head coach Randy Shannon knows what the good old days were like at the University of Miami, having won a national championship as a player under Jimmy Johnson in 1987. With the Hurricanes ranked in the top 10 for the first time since 2005, Shannon is making sure the 2009 version of the U does more walking the walk than talking the talk. You got to take one game at a time, and then you got to tell the players after four games, you're going to find out where we are as a football team. That's the goal, but you got to go one at a time, which is at Florida State, at home at Georgia Tech, and then you got Virginia Tech and Oklahoma. But go one game at a time because you cannot defeat the first opponent trying to think about the fourth. I and mean, those guys, have, for the, so far, they've done a great job of concentrating on that. That's what the coach has done a really good job at is just compartmentalizing each game. And you know, okay, this game's over with. All right, let's go. Next game. Sophomore quarterback Ja'Cory Harris has carried Shannon's personality onto the field, bringing a quiet confidence for the rest of the team to feed off. The pressures that come with winning and all the hype that come with winning, I understand, and I don't let it get to me. And I try to carry that, I try to, you know, let this mentality brush off on the rest of the team, and so far it has done a wonderful job. He's worked all he can in practice now. The game should come to him easy, and I think it does come to him easy. And that's the fun thing about watching Ja'Cory operate. While the team isn't ready to come out and say that the U is back, the buzz around campus would suggest otherwise. I stopped by the ticket office and asked the lady behind the counter if business was brisk. She said, things are getting a little crazy around here. In Carl Gables, I'm Hank Goldberg, ESPN. After going 500 with only two wins against ranked opponents the past three seasons, one under Larry Coker, two under Shannon, Miami's now 2-0. Both wins, as I mentioned, over ranked teams. Canes are ranked higher than they've been since 2005 with more biggies coming up starting with Virginia Tech. Kirk Herbstreet's back with us. Miami is 2-0. Is the U officially back? I don't think there's any question that this Miami Hurricane football team is the real deal based on what they've done in their first two games. On the road at Florida State, found a way to win the game. Dominated Georgia Tech. Ja'Cory Harris with his ability and the way he's playing this game with such poise, the playmakers around him, the way this team is feeding off at Ja'Cory Harris, the confidence that they now have as they head to Lane Stadium against Virginia Tech. Hey, I put him up at number five this week in the AP poll. There's no doubt in my mind the athletic ability and now the confidence is there as they head up to Lane Stadium this week to take on the Hokies.